You would have to drink this entire giant bottle of Prime to consume the same sugar that's in this bottle of Gator. And honestly, I might, because it's the better for you option and it tastes delicious. Drink Prime. Who else remembers when hundreds of people would line up for hours, sometimes even at 4, 5 a.m. in the morning, in order to get their hands on a bottle of Prime? It was almost a good business decision as bottles were reselling for 10 or even 20 times their original price. I mean, I remember bottles were selling for literally £100 for a drink. And even though KSI and Logan Paul's audience is, to be honest, mainly children, there were plenty of adults queuing up for these drinks as well. And to be honest, some of the flavours were actually quite nice. Even I tried the ice pop flavour and it was pretty good. When it was first released, it was pretty much the biggest influencer brand ever. Everyone knew about this brand. People that don't watch YouTube knew about this brand. It was in major supermarkets and that's not a small feat. A lot of the hype at the start obviously came from Logan Paul and KSI but a lot of the hype also came from the fact that it was so hard to get your hands on because people just wanted to try it to see what the hype was about. If you wanted to try a bottle, you did have to get in the queue and wait with everyone to get to just to try it. People were pretty much fighting. It was like those clips from the 2000s Black Friday sales. And just like many other YouTube brands, it obviously didn't come without its scandals. And you might think, how could there be a scandal over a drink? But there was, I mean, a lot of it came from the fact that there was an energy drink kind of marketed at children and parents were accidentally buying energy drinks with quite a significant amount of caffeine for their children, which obviously isn't very healthy. You aren't supposed to have caffeine when you're too young. Logan Paul and KSI may be facing a huge problem because of their energy drinks and hydration drinks. A lawsuit was filed in California by one She claimed that despite the representations on the warning that say, hey, this is a super healthy drink, that it's not. She claimed she had it independently tested and that it was claimed to be filled with man-made chemicals that cause cancer. This is a huge deal because Prime made $250 million in its first year of operation. So obviously Logan Paul, KSI, they don't want to claim that it's not healthy or that it's not good for you. This also comes on the heels of Congress saying that they're going to investigate Prime's energy drinks for having too much caffeine and being super unhealthy. Well, even though Prime had such a huge start, it's only been a couple of years now, and recently people have been posting the fact that they've seen Prime bottles on reduced to clear in supermarkets. These bottles, which were reselling for literally 10 times their original price, are now selling for pennies because people don't want to buy them. While the brand's still doing pretty well with its main audience, with KSI and Logan Paul's audience, and they're starting to sponsor sports teams. It's definitely falling out of public image. For most people, like for people that, who aren't their regular watchers of their videos, I don't think they're as bothered by Prime anymore. I feel like the hype is low-key dying and it'll be interesting to see where this brand goes. Unfortunately, when you market to children, I feel like children change what they're interested in so fast. They obsess over things and they really obsessed over this but the hype dies down very fast with them and they just move on to the next thing. And I know people might say these aren't marketed at children, like children don't drink energy drinks, but I don't think that's true. I mean, look at this advertising. You can't tell me that fried chicken ads are aimed at adults. <laughs> Ooh, drink your chicken, baby. Drink your chicken, lip licking foul, and it says prime fridration. Oh my gosh. There is no way they actually made this. Heavily inspired by KFC, fried chicken prime fridration, free range flavor, zero flocks given. The drink itself is actually really good, and it's easy to see why it did so well but being in the reduction bin is not a good sign, obviously. Even by looking at the amount of likes they get on Instagram, it's clear it's fallen a lot since its start. At one point, the brand was so successful that Logan Paul even had ambitions of becoming a billionaire thanks to the business. This means that he had hopes that the business would reach several billion dollars of revenue. They didn't just want this to be some other influencer brand. This was gonna become a mainstream brand that competed with the likes of Coca-Cola. However, even though it had its scandals and controversies, I feel like these weren't the reason that the brand started to perform less well and why it's now being seen in the clearance bin. And the real reason is because of its audience and hype came from children who just lost interest. 
When it became easy to get your hands on a bottle of Prime and you didn't have to queue for hours, it was no longer the status symbol. Once it was easily available, buying a £2 drink that you can just buy from the local supermarket is hardly a status symbol. Now that you can just walk into Tesco, grab a bottle or as many as you want, you could buy 50 for the same prices they used to sell one bottle. It really doesn't have the same allure anymore. Logan Paul's beverage brand Prime has defended the amount of caffeine in its energy drinks after lawmakers and health experts called on the US Food and Drug Administration to investigate the influencer-backed energy drink. Prime Energy, sold in a can, dropped in 2023 and compares a comparable amount of caffeine to other top-selling energy drinks, all falling within the legal limit of the countries it's sold in. Representatives for the brand noted that the beverage complied with all FDA guidelines prior to hitting the market and indicated on the packaging that Prime Energy drinks are not made for anyone under the age of 18. However, I feel like a lot of parents, unfortunately, got mixed up between the energy drink and the regular version of the drink, meaning that they accidentally bought the drink for their children, which was not good. To put it into perspective, the energy drink has 200 milligrams of caffeine per can, which is about half the recommended daily allowance for an adult. If Logan's goal is to sell Prime for $5 billion and he wants to be a self-made billionaire under 30 after the sale, he likely owns about 20% of the business. This is probably similar to KSI. Comparing Prime to another energy drink brand recently acquired, we can estimate how much sales Prime would need to earn in a year to be worth $5 billion. In November 2021, Coca-Cola purchased the remaining 85% ownership of Body Armor for $5.6 billion. Body Armor is estimated to have done about $1.4 billion in retail sales that year. Body Armor was valued at 4.7 times retail sales. For Prime to sell for $5 billion, all else being equal, it would need to do about $1 billion in a single year while continuing to grow. Today, the company would only be valued at about $1.2 billion, making Logan and KSI's hypothetical medical 20% stakes in the business, each worth $235 million. To be fair, Prime did manage $1.2 billion in annual sales, but recent articles about its performance in 2024 just don't look as promising. Sales of Prime have crashed since the start of 2024, with year-on-year -year sales down over 50%. Prime, the viral soft drinks brand fronted by YouTube stars Logan Paul and KSI, was the fastest growing food and drink brand in 2023, adding nearly £150 million in sales. But in the first quarter of 2024, its sales of £12.8 million are less than half of the £26 million worked up in the same period last year. The slump is almost entirely due to a collapse in Prime's hydration line, sales of which have crashed £11 million and volumes down 41%. The brand's newer energy line, launched last spring, climbed 350% and brought in sales of £1 million, so it's a lot smaller. With sales of hydration receding, retailers are discounting to clear excess stock. Experts have said this is because now the market is flooded. It's available in every multiple so no kid wants it. The original five variants, you almost can't give them away. But Prime has been really smart with new variants that keeps the buzz going. So it looks like people are already bored of the original flavours. Overall, Prime is a pretty good product and I can see why Prime has been so successful. And even if it's falling off now, you can't say that it hasn't been a huge success. I'm sure it's made KSI and Langapool millions of dollars. Maybe not the billions that they were hoping for, but it's done very well. However, it seems like Prime might be starting to fall off a cliff and it'll be interesting to see if they can save the brand, considering it's now being seen in clearance and reduction bins. It seems like their success has prompted other YouTubers to get a slice of the action, with the Sidemen releasing snacks just this last week. Caffeinated, caffeine free, 20 calories, 10 calories, 2 grams of sugar, sugar free, carbonated, non-carbonated, and they both have coconut water, plus electrolytes. In conclusion, both amazing tasting, better for you products. Drink Prime. In order for Logan Paul to become a billionaire and achieve a company that's worth several billion, Prime will have to continue to grow a lot. I feel like a lot of it came down to it being a flex to get your hands on, and now that it's so easily available, People aren't as interested. Not to mention the fact that a lot of their audience was children means that they got bored pretty quickly.
Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Do you think that Prime will continue to be a success or do you think it's just another influencer brand that in five years time will cease to exist?